welcome once again to Think Tank TV. Now, the internet has gone agog by this singular video that was released by Simon Emma, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. I'd like you to take a look at this video and I'll be coming back to give my thoughts about it. <laughs> Killing the python, those python that danced in the upper land and killed many Biafrans. It is Operation Killing the Python, wherever they are. Any place you see them, bring them down. These are the people who have killed without remorse. They have no regard to constitution, they have no regard to law, they have no regard to international law, they have no regard to rule of engagement. They come, they kill, and nobody check them. And today, we are well armed to defend our land. And for that reason, the python must be killed. Any place you see any military car, any military van, any military terrorist van, any terrorist police van, run! Because to avoid getting hit by stray bullet. Stay very clear and stay away from any moving military vehicle. You've seen it for yourself. Now, as much as I do not for any reason support acts of treason, as a rational being, it is expected that we must be rational to look at anything which is surrounding the demand of this um, IPOB. I was talking with someone some days ago and I said, see, in what kind of organization do people belong that leaving the organization is actually a taboo? If you belong to a church, you can actually say, I don't want to go to this church again. And nobody's going to be questioning you to be there by force. If you look, belong to an organization where you work, you can actually decide to put in your organization and say, I'm not working here anymore. Nobody's going to be forcing you. There's no group that you will say you don't want to belong again, that people will begin to say you won't belong to you. So why is it that the Biafra people are coming out and saying that we're not okay the way you guys are handling us. We're not okay with the way we have been carried along in this nation. Rather than call the people to a negotiation table and discuss with them as people who are practicing democracy as it were. What you do is you must be in the nation. What they do is you must be in the nation. What they do is shut up and stay in the nation without even complaining. And it's very appalling. For goodness sake, these people are saying we're not satisfied. The onus is laid on them to sit them down and ask them the question and carry them along. Rather than doing their best to postpone the evil day. The court has come up with a series of uh, injun uh, judgments to say, yeah, let this guy go. This guy has done nothing. Now they can as it were. But they keep postponing the evil day, and that can never be the solution to the agitations in the Biafra nation. Because one thing you must understand is that a movement can never be stopped. Even if you kill a person that is heading the movement, you can never exterminate it completely because it's in the heart of people. The best thing that can be done is to see that you carry these guys along and solve the problem for me to root cause, which is always what the Nigerian government will keep continually failing to do. Just like Aisha Isufu will keep saying that no Nigerian is more Nigerian than any Nigerian. A few people cannot decide to become cryptocrats, become glutonic, to hold the country hostage at their own personal interests. 
it is not acceptable and they must do well to call these guys to the negotiation table and find out what exactly their problem is and solve it once and for all because the truth is that the more these agitations keep staying it's going to be spilling to other ethnic nationalities just like we have a lot of other people agitating in different ways and you can't hide it for too long it's only going to be a postponement of the evil day and one day when the people get to the war and get to an extent where they can no longer take it again it's going to be blowing like a, like a dynamite